a Warhammer tournament, which is awesome stuff, because a tournament will very, very quickly, uh, very quickly reveal any balancing issues with the game and how the game is balanced. So uh, in this particular battle, the pressure, this is the beta flash 98. I unfortunately didn't join myself due to time constraints. Uh, these battles are the battles of the Prussian Prince, Achilles also sent his battles, there are some great battles in here. I haven't watched them, but when they say there are some great battles, I trust them, because they have been more than right in the past. And uh, thanks for, for sending these battles, it, I, I truly enjoy watching them and being able to, to upload them. So, uh, the Prussian Prince is commanding the Empire. And he has six Demigriff Knights, because why wouldn't you have six Demigriff Knights? They are extremely powerful. All of them have halberds to be anti-large. They are backed up by spearmen here. Uh, there are some four swordsmen in the back. Uh, for heroes, we have a witch hunter. And we have, uh, let's see, it just says Agony Prussian Prince Cavalry. Uh, I guess this is an empire general. Uh, because the witch hunter is not a lord level character, I believe. And here we have the undead. Uh, no, the <laughs> they looked so dark here. Here we have the um, the greenskins, the greenskins, um, and they have four night goblin archers up front. They do have poison, poison not being very as effective as in Attila. Uh, orc boar boy biggins. Then we have trolls. Asag, the slaughter slaughterer on a wyvern. I think it is. I think it's Asag. Uh, most. Definitely is Asag. Then our Ashag. Uh, an Orc Shaman, so a magic Orc army. Uh, trolls, Orc Boar Boy, Biggins over here as well. And then a bunch of these Savage Orcs. Now going up against the Empire, you would expect the Empire to stay true to tabletop or true to lore perhaps. Hang back and shoot a bit. The thing is, with the addition of Demigriff Knights and cheap... Uh, the, the Swordsmen... And the spearmen are, for their price, very solid units. Uh, but let's see what the Prussian Prince does here. He might just send his Demogriff Knights in for total carnage. Uh, let's see, yeah, the Demogriff Knights charge into the Orc Boar Boy Viggins. They win massively on the charge. And over here as well against the, uh, against the Savage Orcs. The Savage Orc Viggins get hammered on the charge. But uh, the Demogriff, uh, Demogriffs are starting to drop here, being charged by multiple enemy um, units. Uh, over here, the Demogriff Knights are fighting both Trolls and Orc Boar Boy Biggins. Uh, and they are actually losing, but it, it enables the Spearmen to get into the fight. They are anti-large, so they will do well against both Trolls and Cavalry. So this is, this is sort of like uh, Attila. The Prussian Prince is sending in his Cavalry to do the killing. Uh, the uh, Asag is buffing his units here. The Witch Hunter and the Spears coming into support. Let's see what the Witch Hunter does in terms of magic. If he do indeed does anything. Uh, Asag here is on, the, is on the ground. Which is very unfortunate for him. This is a huge, huge mistake. Uh, now he's getting surrounded by Demogifts. And look at the health drop. Uh, he's going to die very quickly and um, once he dies mo many of the orcs are going to run. And here you see the trolls being defeated by uh, by spearmen. Uh, low leadership on the trolls, they do have regeneration but they are getting chased away. Asag the slaughter is running away routing off the field. So if you're not careful, even though the Prussian Prince doesn't have any shooters, ooh that was uh, so I think it was the trolls barfing. <laughs> yep. But the thing is, even though you don't uh, have anything to counter the flyers, you can still swamp the flyers once they land. Which is um, very effective if you have a unit like the Demogriff Knights that can't get knocked about. And ooh, I don't know if that was. I, oh, it's probably. Yeah, it's the Orc Shaman there. Orc Shaman doing uh, some magical damage. Here he is. Yeah. So you can see the orcs and goblins do have some morale problems, but mainly they do have demigriff problems. And that's true for many factions. But 
they could, they were able to deal, uh, whenever they're able to gang up on demogriffs, they do a reasonable job. The problem is that they spend far too much killing the demogriff knights compared to uh, compared to what the demogriff knights cost. A decisive victory there for the empire. Uh, yeah, the demogriff knights did a lot of killing, so did the swordsmen, and for the orcs and goblins, uh, goblins nothing did much. It was kind of a weird army this. Um, the Night Goblin Archers are... I don't find poison to be worth it for the price to be honest. Uh, and perhaps this orc army was a bit unfocused. Perhaps it was um, banking on the Empire being sort of a more balanced shooting army. Perhaps they didn't know about the killing potential of the Demogriff Knights as, as there are no real anti-large units in this army. But going up against the Empire, ironically, you need to be prepared to deal with big, big monsters in the form of uh, Demogriff Knights, or they will ruin your day, as Agni Prussian Prince ruined uh, Sharni's day here. Strength and armor. <laughs> 